Hello everybody, welcome to Nego Terra Odyssey. I tell you, I cannot get enough of these gorgeous cards. I just, they make me feel so good and just looking at them is so peaceful. And if you haven't heard from my other videos, this is the Universal Folk Oracle because I posted some things on IG and people were curious about the name of the deck. I just love things that are folksy and this type of artwork just really inspires me. I love it. So let's take a look at compassion, nurture, giving, and love of life. So this can ask, are you nurturing yourself? Are you nurturing your friends, family members, pets? Sometimes just stopping and noticing that your cat or dog or animal that's looking at you just wants a cuddle and a snuggle. Are you nurturing them? You ever feel like, I do this and then I immediately stop. When I get out of my car, if one of my outdoor cats comes rushing up and wants a cuddle, my arms are filled with things, I'll be like, I'll catch myself saying, oh, sorry, I, my arms are full. I'll come back out. And I know I'm not going to rush right back out there once I get in the house. So oftentimes I just stop, give him a pet, pick him up, snuggle, twirl him around, tell him I love him. And it feels good. It's, it's that giving that moment that shows you cherish them. They came up to you, you know. So if somebody comes in a room you're in, be cognizant of the energy that you're providing for that person or that animal. Is it welcoming? Are you smiling? Or are you looking up from your computer or device like, why are you bothering me? We all know that look and it's not a fun look, right? Like, hey, I'm busy, so be welcoming, be warm, be giving. That, that sets a kind of precedent for your energy and proving to yourself that when you're soft and when you're relaxed and when you're welcoming, your body is relaxed. Your mind feels good. You don't feel like you have lack mentality. You don't feel like you have to prioritize your computer screen over a living thing. You know what I mean? Because that psychologically doesn't make us feel good after we do it. So this is really being present in the moment and noticing that. That cat, that dog, that child, that whatever, that butterfly, it's important. If something approached you, how are you receiving it? So I really love that energy. And this is also compassion for yourself. So if you see yourself amping up and becoming this whirly gig of like frenetic and frantic energy of like, I used to do this when I try to like double down on something, like try to put on makeup why I was like on a call with one of my kids or something like that and 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 setting up something else like trying to triple stuff and dropping stuff and feeling like I was giving each thing 33 percent as opposed to 100 percent let's stop that I feel like when we do one thing at a time it lets us know and it verifies I am calm and I have the time to do this one thing with focus and follow through calmly and also we get more out of it you know what I mean it really is we don't have to go back and fix things after and it feels good we know done dusted complete so have compassion for yourself and feel like you're not some pack mule you don't have to carry all this weight around and just do and produce which brings us to frequency flow sound vibration energy and healing this is the use of anything that we can get that brings up our vibration music right away does it for me when i want to do something that i find daunting on goes the reggae on goes the classical music and i feel like there's flow immediately because that frequency of beautiful music lifts and helps focus me and i also do feel like it's healing i feel like oh my gosh have you combined beautiful music with fresh air of like a blue sky and bird song in nature it's like nothing tops that but i feel like my summer mid mornings are out me and me outside just playing like celtic music and just observing and just being quiet and getting centered and i feel like my frequency goes up with that i'm not exactly playing a harp in my garden but you know that day may yet come but i just love that like what it, do you feel like you're on a high vibrational frequency which you will know that because you'll feel good your face will be relaxed you'll smile easily you're looking forward to things you feel receptive and if not let's change that like give yourself something wonderful to look forward to a little prize a little hey if i do this and um i feel like exercise sometimes that that's a great thing just walking all of a sudden your frequency starts to go up and then by not doing anything else just that movement maybe listening to music we get these good ideas we get these things that that produce solutions without even really trying right because we've let it go and we're now in receptive mode we're not chasing we're not like eh, give me the answer we're like ah when it comes it comes and guess what because of that attitude it surely does which brings us to hidden wisdom elementals 
bury and uncover. I feel like a lot of the times we receive the information that we're meant to receive when we're in nature, that's where the elementals are. We're able to uncover things. There are so many beautiful lessons in nature, it's absurd. Ants, for instance, working as a beautiful colony, preparing, getting bits of food, it's amazing like I just love watching monkeys is another thing amazing just watching that the hierarchy the behaviorisms all of that there's a lot of wisdom to be gardened um gardened <laughs> yes gardens good too garnered and gardened in just observance you know what I mean so often it's like I'm the same like I feel like okay I gotta be in motion but when we're in motion without a clear path of why we're in motion or why we're going somewhere point in case going into a store without a list what do you come out with? Probably way more than you need, right? Especially in grocery stores when you don't like have a menu plan. You're like, oh, some of this, some of that, some of that. We can literally have bits and pieces of everything and not have a cohesive meal. So it's like, I like a little clarity before I go anywhere. When I get in my car, if I say, oh, I just want to go out on some adventures today. I want to do some things. I usually start with something really simple. One drive straight down to the nature center and then I'm walking and I'm like, what is going to enhance my day? What's going to make me feel good? I want you to do that for yourself. Like there are hidden things everywhere. Where's a place that you just find beautiful and amazing that enhances your day for going there? Try to incorporate that into the day. And oftentimes that place and those moments will suggest your next moment, which will bring up your frequency, which will make you feel good. I find the more time I spend in nature, the less I want to spend in buildings in shopping and doing things like that. So I always say, Hey, I want to start as I mean to go on. Cause I know if I start like in a bead store or craft store, I just want to be like, yay, more, 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 more. If I'm out in nature, I'm like, ah, I just want to stay here. I just want to relish this and drink it all in restful, beautiful outdoor oxygen. That's so nice. So you guys today, I would love for you to just realize you're not going to stress over anything. You're just going to be at peace. And if you carry one thing throughout your life, let it just be peace and groundedness. You know, better things are always ahead. You know, you're going to get through any kind of like, I call them stingy moments. People can be stingy or we can be stingy. That's that lack mentality of, I don't have time for you or I don't have time for this, that, or the other thing. And we get in this weird thing. We have a lack mentality and how we just brew ourselves out of that is say, that's not true. I'll say it out loud to myself when I'm somewhere. If, if I'm putting something back on a shelf and my stingy self says you can't afford that, I go, that's not true. I do not put things back in stores anymore because then I'm telling the universe and myself, oh, I can't afford that. I don't deserve that. Or there is an abundance to replace this. Uh-uh, none of that. It's like, I'm not talking about like with cars and Rolls Royces, but I'm talking about like a candle or a soap or a hat. <laughs> I like put that Rolls Royce back, but you know what I mean? Like things that make us feel abundant and fun and celebrate us little tchotchkes and things like that it's like know you're deserving of it know that you know anything that you put out there you're going to get back and that feeling of you know i relinquish any stinginess like i am going to be generous to myself and others because i love that energy of generosity and it brings our frequency up and it makes us know that okay here's like i this just popped in my head think of a time where somebody just impromptu gave you something, a bouquet of flowers. They pop by your house with a great meal. They did, they did a task, a resource was given to you or something. How great that made you feel. Wouldn't you love to make them or somebody else feel like that as well? That's why I, I love like flowers and like interflora and stuff like that, because it's like somebody's opening their door to a box of flowers, just boom, out of midair. It's such a lovely thing. You know what I mean? And it is that gesture that somebody is thinking about you somewhere. You are special and that you matter. So that's the thing. Let's show somebody that we value them. It's a great feeling. You know, it's a proven scientific fact that we go way up in frequency and endorphins when we give somebody, give somebody something and give them something. And, you know, just that response. And I feel like now is such a great time of the year to be able to do that. Like, I cannot wait to go by my local mechanics and all my favorite people and bring them chocolates and goodies for Thanksgiving. I just love that energy. I feel like, ah, oh, it's so great. And man, I'm like, I got to get going on the Christmas front too, because I'm really excited to create certain designs for some of my favorite people out there. Anyway, you guys, that is what you are meant to hear today. Do something nice for yourself to bring up your frequency and just have that ah moment where you're feeling soothing and beautiful energy that you deserve, you know, no hurry, no scurry, no stingy, no whingy, just calm, cool, collected, and excited for what comes next. So love and light.